Maybe he has a lover. Two major mistakes which a lot of women are doing. Did you like my boobs? Happy woman always attract a right man. Hi, this is Olga and Todd and Olga Shots from Manhattan. And today we'll discuss a very important topic. What mistakes we make which actually can ruin our relationship. Men and women. On a certain point, a lot of women uh, began to feel kind of lonely, unhappy. <laughs> of course, being good men, we push these feelings down and deny them. Cry on the inside like a winner. We began to think tons of questions. Maybe he has a lover. Why he's drinking beer so often? So let's talk about two major mistakes which a lot of women are doing and what to do about this. First of them is I try to change a man. How to change a man. And for that I had three tactics. First of all, I tried to explain. Well, she's giving me the talk until I want to commit suicide treatment. Sucks to be you. You know, and explain to him, and explain, and explain, and explain. <laughs> It didn't work. I was thinking, okay, you don't want to listen to me. I'll try to go in a real fight. I'll put all my emotions, all my temper, and I will just explain you on a totally different level. It didn't work. Either. Then I decided, okay, I'll try a silence treatment. Uh -huh. stamp. You can't triple stamp a double stamp, Lloyd! You can't triple stamp a double stamp! Lloyd! Lloyd! Meaning when you're not talking with your man like for a week or two. Nothing was working! Just nothing. The truth is this, you can never change a guy's behavior. I think I can explain why. Okay, why? Okay, one, explaining assumes we're rational, which men are much more emotional than we like to <laughs> admit. Number two, you have to understand, men over 35, they find the women's voices biologically painful. How do you know the research works? It's Research. Honey, you have no idea what that is. So okay, like music players. And, 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 what, what, and the what? silent treatment. The same part give, of the brain the that, that... The men give presents uh, when they're going through yeah. silent treatment. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. It's because you've but inflicted not, not, pain not. on them. And it affects the same part of the brain that physical pain does. And when you punish your partner through this very passive aggressive way, it, you know, it kind of sticks with them. The doc says most of my injuries are emotional. Your statistics just show that uh, oh, we just need to accept you the way you are. That's what you just said, right? <laughs> so what's the solution then? I think we're here to explain that to them. I'm so damn confused. <laughs> Yes, I was going to, but you you confused me with your statistics and but with I think your first we need to talk about mistake number two. Oh, yeah, it was my biggest one. You know what? <laughs> Mistake number two, I decided to change myself. Why mess with perfection? You don't know how hard it is being a woman looking the way I do. My first ex-husband, he loved this model type, uh, beautiful, skinny. not one of them. And on top of this, this time in Russia, world-class, famous, beautiful women were competing for the love of the Russian man. 
relationship between uh, Lu Zilin and 50-year-old Russian billionaire uh, Vladimir Doronin. I wish that would have been Russian though. It's good to be the king. Mm -hmm. I was so much wanted to attract his attention. Then in the worst time ever, I decided, okay, let me try to be a model in order to attract his attention. Another typical example how women are trying to change themselves in order to be more valuable for the men. Mm. Of course it's a plastic surgery. So you're telling me this is not all real? It is real for now, but you know gravity, gravitation and sooner or later because tick is clocking, I will need it. Tick is tick clock is clocking, ticking. I will need oh <laughs> clock is ticking any Anyway, don't take me wrong, I love plastic surgeries, but only in the way when you are trying to do it for yourself, not to please your man. Why did you tell me to get a lipo then? Lipo is not a plastic surgery, it's not a, it's a small, little, fixable thing. Lipo is not a plastic surgery. A lot of women are changing themselves to please the man. I did for my first ex-husband. That's the right attitude. What's the right attitude? <laughs> you change yourself for a man. Do you like my boobs? <laughs> now you're this thing uh, a little bit more bigger, and when you was kind of skinny, you actually sorry, I'm Russian. I'll tell you, you was a skinny. <laughs> you are more human now. <laughs> well, you still are a skinny. Okay. <laughs> and I can tell you how, how men can change themselves for, for me. Men doesn't need to change. <laughs> Why change what's perfect? How to find Mr. Right and how to find Mrs. Right. Very easy. A woman finds Mr. Right and she becomes Mrs. Always Right. <laughs> <laughs> what did you realize when you met him? He seemed like Don Juanish. My name is Don Juan Di Marco. I am the world's greatest lover. So you kind of liked him, but you didn't want Don Juan or Don Julio in your uh, life. <laughs> She wanted some Julio, all right? <laughs> what are the ways you can please your, your man, Olga? I am with him. That's, all. <laughs> That's how I please him. The simple him. act of being with me. So Bye. thank you. Bye. 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 Tip number one. Hmm. Instead of changing yourself, try to find yourself. Because my whole world just blew up and I don't have a job and I have no money of my own and I honestly do not know what I'm going to do at all. Yeah, but how do you do that? Very easy. <laughs> you need to have something in this life, what you are really passionate about. Something when, where you are happy without any connection or dependence on the man. Hmm. It can be uh, saving whales. It can be showing dogs. Or it can be gardening. And why is this? Because every man or woman needs to have the island of happiness where and you can be actually happy doing something or being yourself. Look what I have created! I have made fire! My solution was, okay, I decided over blue to start an independent production company in New York. No friends, no connections, no experience in this field, no training in this field. And still you see my English language is <laughs> bad. Good. When you try to do something what scares you, and I'm not successful yet, and maybe never will, but at least I found myself. Oh, please. <laughs> and I became more confident. And because I became more confident, I became more happy. And happy woman always attract. All right, man.
Because the problem is, then it, and if you don't have that, you'll put all of your energy into relationship. And if you put all your energy into relationship, usually good things can't happen. Huh. Tip number two. When you found yourself, keep being yourself, meaning be extremely honest with yourself and with others. On our first date, she showed up and says, I have no interest in relationships, I'm not looking for love, I'm not looking for anything, I'm looking for connections on my projects, and she brings me her whole portfolio and has a huge conversation with me about her projects. Yes, we met on Tinder, and if you guys didn't watch the episode, the link should be here, there, or somewhere. But I liked it because there was no games going on. No. I saw who she really was. I can't lie! Tip number three. Instead of changing your man, try to push him in order he will be himself. You can do it! You can do it! Oh yeah, and she drove me completely, wonderfully, happily crazy. <laughs> I'm me? writing every day. I'm doing videos all the time. Well, he's, he's I'm on the stage. And the truth is, it's I, I always kind of wanted to do these kind of things, but I always was afraid yes. to do them because of this crazy Russian tank who was not just committed to her own happiness, was committed to mine. She pushed me like crazy. Yeah, you know, he never felt more happy and miserable in the same time. And I will share with you, which actually a little bit ashamed, of my transformation from insecure model wannabe to confident, ridiculous, and very happy woman. Things I've ever experienced in my life. Much love, love, and happiness from Russia to America. With love.